Hi, this is Wiley Sharp with Catamaran Central, and today I want to take you for a quick video walkthrough on board Believin, a 2021 Leopard 42 owner's version. I'm going to have the full spec sheet and pricing in the description down below, but it's a really, really well-equipped owner's version boat. It's also the best price Leopard 42 currently on the market, which has got about an 18-month wait. So if you're looking for a Leopard 42, this is definitely a great option. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump aboard. Okay, we're going to make our way here on the port boarding gate. So they did a lot of really, really neat things to this boat. I'll try to point out as we go through. Uh, but one little detail item that I really like a lot I was just telling the owners is this little step they had built for the uh, sugar scoop there it's always so hard getting on and off a boat with differing tides and because of the curvature of that i've actually fallen off a boat into the water once when i slipped and so that step is a really really nice addition um, anyways we're going to make our way around the um, deck first we're going to come up to the um, sky lounge so a really really nice large l-shaped settee little table with storage in it and then look at this solar array they had built I mean that's like two inch tubing as well it's completely over engineered which is uh, pretty awesome great place to sit up here while underway a couple of steps brings us back down to the weather deck all the hatches are flush mounted hatches so you've got plenty of ventilation as well as you've got four peaks up there as well as over on the starboard bow you've got the um, generator through there some more storage under there anchor chain windlass and run and then the front door which is great not just for accessing the foredeck but also for um, uh, ventilation through the salon this boat's equipped with the factory installed bow sprit so it's a split trampoline and uh, really really nice um, nice installation so we're going to continue our way down the starboard weather helm weather deck to the helm and you'll see it's nice and wide with good grab rails on the inboard side so we've got the helm seat here full raymarine electronics package yanmar engine controls uh, fusion stereo vhf um, and then another just nice touch they added this um, custom fabricated footrest, which is actually strong enough to stand on if you need to get a better view, which the, the wife, she is um, she's uh, fairly short, so I think it's important for her to have that. But you've got good visibility forward, as well as good visibility aft. And with the thr these throttles all the way on the outboard side, driving the boat coming into a dock starboard size, side two would be very, very easy. Making our way down the uh, starboard sugar scoops here. We've got the first of two mechanical spaces through there. Uh, this boat's powered by Yanmar diesels and sail drives. We've got the electric dinghy davit. Then over here on the starboard side, we have an L-shaped settee for lounging out. And then a really nice outdoor dining table, which they've got set for four, although you could probably fit six there pretty comfortably. And I like how the backrest articulates. And in general, like the soft goods on this boat, like the, the quality of cushion that Leopard started using a few years ago, so much better than the old factory um, uh, soft goods and uh, just really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the boat. Okay, making our way into the salon, we've got a nice L-shaped settee over port aft, forward facing nav station, the port forward side, and uh, the headroom is, is really quite high in this boat. Uh, vertical windows all the way forward. So even though this is only two feet larger than the 40 it's uh, replacing, it's a much larger feeling boat. Great visibility forward and aft here from the salon. Starboard forward, we've got the uh, galley, large single basin sink, drying basin there, three burner Eno cooktop, oven broiler as well as plenty of storage beneath we're going to come over here to the port side make our way port aft semi walk around i mean this bed is what you'd expect on a much larger boat than a 42 
We got the windows drawn now, but plenty of natural light when you open everything up. Shelves on the in inboard side, hanging lockers on the inboard side, as well as drawers at the base of your bed. A uh, large, I'm going to call it a semi dry head because the shower stall is all the way forward. So it's not really a wet head. There's no door, so it's not really a dry head. Um, but, it, but a really nice head. Electric, um, electric head storage beneath as well as storage up top there and plenty of natural light and then making our way port forward we've got the uh, second guest cabin which is also a semi walk around berth a little bit smaller than the aft bed uh, but lots of natural light coming into the space through those opening outboard hatches I'm sorry portholes shorts on the shelf storage beneath the bed and then as well as hanging lockers and then we've got a head that basically mirrors what we saw in that port aft cabin. So making our way across the salon, we get to the distribution panel for the boat. Uh, generator panel, Victron battery management system, aircon control, 12 volt system, 110 volt system, all really, really easily within reach. And then one more step down brings us to the master which the berth is uh, about the size of the port aft berth. Uh, what is the same size as a port aft berth. Uh, so semi walk around, lots of light that comes in through those windows, those windows when they're open. And then just look at this master. I mean, it's like nice little workstation. They've got a television that articulates out so they can watch TV in bed. Lots of storage here on the outboard side. And then a really, really large head forward with a uh, washer dryer combo unit here. I love this head. I mean, it's such a step up from the Leopard 40, which is a great boat, really good design. Uh, but this head just feels much larger. So there you go. This is a walkthrough of hull number three of the Leopard 42. This particular boat is not for sale. She is available for charter though. So I'll definitely put a link to that in the description down below. If you have any questions on this boat, please don't uh, hesitate to send me an email, leave a comment down below. And as always, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.